Proton pump inhibitors inhibit gastric acid secretion by blocking hydrogen potassium and C triphosphate enzyme system, the proton pump of gastric parietal cells, which are involved in acid production. So proton pump inhibitors are used for the prevention and treatment of uh, dyspepsia, GERD, prevention of anxiety induced ulcer and uh, bacteria associated ulcer because all these are involved in acid production. They are given with combination of antibacteria to reduce H. pylori induced um, ulcers. Now, PPI are identified as prazole family. The drugs with the suffix prazole belongs to this family, such as omeprazole, isomeprazole, lansoprazole, pantoprazole, rapiprazole. Now, isomeprazole, let's see the profile of isomeprazole in hepatic impairment. Maximum 20 mg daily dose is given. In children, 10 mg maximum dose should be given in 1 to 12 years old. In pregnancy, manufacturer advised caution. No info is available yet on it. In breastfeeding, manufacturer again advises caution. And no info is available on these two. In renal impairment, manufacturer advised caution in severe renal insufficiency. Uh, omeprazole uh, it, uh, in pregnancy it is not known to be harmful so it is the safest one in the pregnancy in breastfeeding it is present in milk but not known to be harmful side effects include ag agitation and impotence uh, hepatic impairment uh, not more than 20 mg daily should be needed in renal impairment worsen, uh, it worsen progression of C-carry it also causes acute kidney injury uh, pentaprazole uh, in hepatic impairment, maximum 20 mg daily dose in impairment and cirrhosis of liver is given. Liver function monitoring should be done and discontinued if deterioration uh, occurs in liver function. Renal impairment, maximum oral dose 40 mg daily should be given. In pregnancy, avoid unless potential benefit out as risk. Phytotoxicity is seen in animals, so not advised in pregnancy. Pentoprazole and breastfeeding should be avoided until potential benefits outweigh the risk. A small amount uh, is present in the milk so side effects uh, is hyperlipidemia and weight gain. Rabiprazole, a hepatic impairment, uh, manufacturer advice caution in severe hepatic dysfunction. Okay, in pregnancy, a manufacturer advice uh, avoidance. No info is yet available on it though. In breastfeeding, mm -hmm. manufacturer advice um, avoid. No info is available on these two side effects. Cough, influenza-like syndrome, and rhinitis. Uh, Chest pain is seen but less common, nervous pain is seen, anorexia and weight gain is seen with rabiprazole. And renal impairment, no dose adjustment is needed, so this is safe for mm -hmm. renal patient. Lensoprazole in hepatic impairment, use half of the normal dose in moderate to severe liver dis disease. Uh, half of the normal dose is 20 mg. In pregnancy, manufacture mm -hmm. advice avoidance. In breastfeeding, uh, avoid it because it is present in milk and animal studies. Uh, side effects include glossitis, pancreatitis, anorexia, restlessness, tremor, impotence, rise serum cholesterol level, very rarely by cause colitis, and petechia and purpurea are seen. These are lesions caused by internal bleeding. Okay, now quick ways uh, to assess your knowledge can. So let's see what our question, what is suggested dose of PPI in hepatic impairment? which PPI cause uh, chronic kidney disease and acute kidney injury, which PPI have risk of potential phytotoxic effects in animals uh, and humans, which PPI are associated with adverse effects of causing impotence. Now let's see the answer one by one. Omeprazole can cause chronic kidney disease and acute kidney injury, so not advised in kidney patient. Pentaprazole have risk of potential phytotoxic effects, so not advised in pregnancy and breastfeeding as well. Suggested dose of PPI in hepatic impairment is 20 mg daily and lensoprazole and omeprazole can cause impotence on side effects so they should not be given to young men and also the older ones. Bibliography includes